Ladies, gentlemen, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, please like, comment, subscribe. So today I'm going to be reacting to the Amberlynn weigh-in video from 11-24-2021. Now, what I would like to say is I'm going to try to be positive, but it's Amberlynn Reed, so bear with me if I'm not. It's really difficult because as much as I'm here for any type of progress as much as I'm here to be positive and to be encouraging because weight loss ain't easy we all know that and carbs and pizza they're everything but anyways that's neither here nor there I'm gonna try to be positive but I just don't believe her like I don't fucking believe I just because I know her her whole life is scripted it's just difficult. I just, I find this weight loss suspicious only because it's just kind of like the entire time she was with Becky, nothing. I just kind of feel like it's a way for her to be like, oh, look, I ended it with Becky and now I'm losing weight. You know, even though she hasn't said that yet, I just feel like it is. And now that she's with this new girl, like, I just feel like she's going to be like, oh, look, I couldn't lose any weight with Becky and now I'm losing it with blah, blah, blah. But again, that's just me being negative. I apologize. But that's just how I be feeling. Like, come on, lady. Like, sweetheart. You could have bended this. Like, she keeps dangling this rope of, like, weight loss surgery. We all know it's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. Like, it's not. It's not. But could weight loss happen? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, she's been doing it so far, you know. She's down. So... I'm going to give that to her. Round of applause for you. But other than that, I just, I don't know. Leave it in the comments. Let me know if you agree or disagree. If you can kind of see where I'm coming from at all. If you totally disagree, hey, let me know. Now, on the more positive side, I will say that 150 pounds is a goal. It's not bad. It's not unrealistic for her giving herself a year. It's not. It, it's not at all unattainable. It's just, will she obtain it? It's Amberlynn Reed. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch the video for yourselves. You can agree with me, disagree with me. Like, comment, subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Wednesday Weigh In. But if you want, can we try again? Try again. So can we believe that this is the sixth Wednesday weigh-in video in a row and I actually have been successful? Because I was looking through my little notebook because this is where I keep all my notes for every week, like my weigh-ins, like how I did that week and like the three questions that you guys asked me and I noticed that this is the sixth one. That's, I don't know, that's a record for me. Okay, so your guys' three questions, let's get to that first. You guys know the drill. First one is, Surgery and all considered, what would you realistically like to weigh at the end of 2022? So I don't know if I am for sure getting weight loss surgery. It is just something that is currently up in the air, kind of just taking the steps towards possible surgery. Like all we have right now is an appointment in January with the surgeon. So that's literally all we have. But regardless whether I have surgery or I don't, I've already thought about this and in a year I would like to lose about like 150 pounds so I would love to be 350 and when I say 150 pounds I'm kind of just like rounding it so yeah I think ultimately my goal I would love to be 350 on January 1st of 2023 so that is in 13 months I definitely think that it's doable for someone my size it is a lot of weight to lose in a year but I feel like I'm at this stage where it's like, it needs to happen now rather than later. And by the way, my heater just turned on. So that's what that noise is. Second question is, is there anything you fear about losing a large amount of weight? Yes, 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 yes. Honestly, my biggest fear is my lymphedema because I do have lymphedema and it is not curable. It's not something that just like goes away. There are things you could do to treat it and one of those things is weight loss 
and by treating it you're really just like taking care of it by me losing weight i'm not getting rid of my lymphedema i'm just making it a little bit smaller and that thought scares me because it's like while the rest of my body is about to start like shrinking even more it's like my lymphedema is still gonna be big and that terrifies me for like shallow reasons because it's like i i look deformed now but i feel like if i was to lose a ton of weight and my lymphedema like especially in my calf like stays pretty big like i'm gonna feel super self-conscious about that and i don't really know what to do with that i'm trying to like push that fear away because I know that I am actively saving my life and that's more important than like how I look. And I have to look at the bigger picture, you know, with weight loss, I am shrinking the lymphedema, which is actually a good thing, obviously, because that means less swelling, less pain, less chance of infection. Another fear I have, which is already something that does happen, is like realizing fat phobic people walk upon this earth way too closely. I noticed that depending on what I weigh, I get treated differently, whether it be online or in person. The more I weigh, the less smiles I get in public or the less respect I get in public versus when I start to lose weight, I notice people starting to smile more at me, being more a little bit more friendly. And to me, that's frustrating. So it's like, let's just say in this wild wild land we have here i'm like in the 200s and people start treating me drastically better like that scares me because it's just like damn you couldn't have treated me with the same respect just because like i weighed higher than i do now like it just i don't know i don't like the thought i do not like the thought but it does happen and that's like reality a lot of people share stories of like how they get treated so much differently once they've lost a ton of weight and I just think that's so wrong and it truly just goes to show it's like a real life experiment of is fat shaming real because yes it really is so there are like a few more little things that I do fear but another one I really really fear is like what if I'm spending all of this time focusing on weight loss which has been fun at times it's been amazing to see my accomplishments but it's also been very hard at other times. I have literally cried my eyes out because I wanted to binge so bad and I just wouldn't allow myself. Like all those hard moments and like those moments of choosing broccoli over hot Cheetos. It's like, was it all worth it? Is it all gonna be worth it? The best way I can describe that is like, I'm losing weight for health reasons, but what if my future, there is, something wrong with me like health related that my weight had nothing to do with like does that make sense what i'm trying to say what if all this hard work doesn't pay off that is what i'm trying to say that is terrifying but i do not want to look at it like that but these are just like true normal fears that i have in the back of my mind but i still feel like these fears are not strong enough to prevent me from losing weight because the fear of me dying prematurely now that's the strong fear that's the fear that's in the forefront of my brain so the last question is will you ever actually try to get healthy or will it always be for the views this question frustrates me for several reasons because it's like when i was gaining weight people thought it was for the views and now according to this person me losing weight is for the views i have never gained weight or lost weight for the views or for YouTube. Like me gaining weight happened to just be documented online, which happened to get me the most views, which is sad. Like, I feel like I can go down like a whole tangent when it comes to this topic. So many people have been saying like, I'm super boring lately. And I notice that people find me the most boring when I'm actually being like successful, when there's no like trolling or there's no like mukbangs on my channel. And the reason why I know this is because if you go to my channel and you go to the most popular videos, it's all of me eating or just like super troll train wreck videos. That's what entertains people the most. So it's like, it's sad that people call me boring now, but on the same, it's kind of like a compliment. I feel like I'm rambling, but I'm trying to say is me losing weight is not for the views. If I wanted views, and that was my goal, was to get as many views as I could, weight loss videos would not be it. That's not the answer. Move bombs are the answer. Troll videos are the answer. But doing these what I ate today videos, these weigh-in videos, it's not for views. It's just me sharing my journey. Okay, so now 
it is time for the weigh-in. So last Wednesday, which was November 17th, I weighed in at 498.6. So normally I would sit here and tell you guys like what I weighed every single day, but I did not do daily weigh-ins. It's mainly because I was low-key kind of off track on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And I personally did not want to step on the scale and see the damage that I did. So I just didn't. Plus, I noticed a lot of people saying, don't weigh yourself daily. We don't care about the daily weigh-ins. We just want to know how much you lost in a week. I'm hearing you guys. I'm listening to you guys. So I'm definitely going to stop telling you guys, like, if I do end up weighing daily, like next week, I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys my weight every single day because I hear you guys loud and clear. Sometimes all the numbers get super confusing. So I totally understand. So besides those three days where I was kind of off track, I had a pretty decent week. So I weighed in today on November 24th at... Four ninety three point four. So I did decide to film it for you guys. I figured what the heck, this is a super easy clip. Let's just set my camera up, set my scale up where it needs to go. I know it has been requested, so I figured why not? So that means this week I am down 5.2 pounds. Overall, I am down 79, which is only one pound away from 80 and 21 pounds away from losing 100. I think that is pretty fantastic. So this week is holiday week tomorrow is thanksgiving and i will be spending it by myself alone so i don't have like a big thanksgiving dinner to worry about or anything like that but my goal still stays the same i really just want to every day make sure i am doing my exercises moving more paying attention to what i'm eating counting calories and every week I just want to be down more weight. I'm just really excited to hit that 100 pound mark. So I hope that you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Go Amber. Go Amber. You five pounds down. You five pounds down. Like, look, I know I was kind of negative in the beginning of the video, but I'm like... Like I said, I go back and forth because I want to be here for you. I want to be encouraging to you, but it just annoys me that someone with your means just hasn't done better. But that to the side, you have lost five pounds, queen, sweetheart, lady. I am here for it. I'm here for you. Congratulations. Congratulations. <sighs>